Today we'll be doing another speed run attempt. We will be changing the brake pads of the BMW. We are brand new Brembos. Looking good. We've got all the tools laid out, so it's easy. And we're doing the speed run. I will have live split on the screen, but for now I'll also be using a phone split thing. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. So, for split is for the jacking up the cars. Let's go. <laughs> Car is in the middle for a split. Two minutes. Not too good. Next split. Remove wheel. Oh yeah. I forgot to untighten the lug nuts before jacking the car up. Not my brightest moment. Let's do that again. Four minutes. Just on this split. Wheel. Wheel removed. That's another split. Time to remove the caliper. My old green rattle clips. Sadly, these are going to go. Dust caps. This is what we need. There we go, success. Okay. Roof caliper, 10 minutes. Pretty good. Let's compare pads and make sure everything is correct. Yeah, they appear to be right. This one is not too bad, actually. I mean, they have a tiny bit of life in them, but it's actually pretty cheap to change these. So why not do it? Yep. Oh. I've got this tool to compress the piston. Working full all this lead. Five euros. Much better than what we did last time. Took me only around three minutes. That's solid. Last time it took us 30 minutes. A couple of grease for some parts. Outer pad and this should in theory go on. There we go. We had this issue last time as well, so it's not going completely in because the guide bins were like this, and as you can see, it's hitting the well, in theory, it was hitting the bracket. I was quite confused and worried. I need to torque it down to 30 newton meters. Allegedly, this is 30 newton meters. There we go. 
Yeah. I'm going to use my other one. I don't know how okay that is, but I mean, I can't really do anything about it. So I made a mistake. Installed new pads, we did that quite a while ago. Installed caliper, we just finished that. So I'm going to be hitting tap split, tap split. So essentially, install new pads is just one with install caliper. Change sensor, we don't have a sensor on this side. So reinstall wheel, but we've got some cleaning to do before that. Six minutes to reinstall the wheel. One car and done in 50 minutes. Not too good. Let me just actually. Congratulations, the new BB. 49 minutes. <laughs> All right, quick break and we're going to the other side. We have changed positions on the other side of the car. All things considered, this is a lot of space. Quite spooky. These are our previous set times. So 49 minutes. I'm hoping I do this slightly quicker. So I'll jack the car up, but first we need to untighten the bolts. And go. for another attempt. And we start it. Damn. This time we did it. Good. Let's not forget. Okay, we are slightly slower, but the remove wheel part is the issue. Actually slower. Damn. It's actually quite easy to see. There we go, the guide pin is out and it's smooth. It is attached. All right, remove caliper. Four minutes faster, dude. Four minutes faster to remove the caliper. That is, that is good shit. Compress piston. Before we actually compress, let's see the difference. This is the answer pad. Yeah, it has like issues in it, but still quite a lot of life left. Honestly, this is, this was slightly, might be slightly unnecessary actually, this uh, 
The rear pad is quite, quite wasted. Maybe they just changed one pad, who knows. I wouldn't put it past the previous owners. Let's install the old pad in back here. See? Look at how nicely it compresses. Just one hand. Compressed piston. Minus two minutes, still ahead. Looks awful. There we go. Like I expected, the rattle pin actually does fit. It seems that they've used the wrong rattle pin on the other side and I need to fix that. Oh, oh fuck. I forgot to install, I forgot to add the install caliper. Uh, yeah, well, shit. I'm going to keep that as is until change sensor. Because we need to change the E sensor. Okay. There we go. We are eight minutes ahead. Now let's change sensor. Yeah, that's the same shit. I guess we're done. Reinstall wheel, remove jack. And time. Five minutes faster. Five minutes faster with the change of sensor. So that's pretty good. We had a lot of golds. So, huh. First part of the fun is done. Here we gotta do the reels as well there. Fuck. Almost made a rookie mistake. Part one done. Fifty seconds ahead. Remove real time. Okay, three minutes of that. Three hit, three minutes. Damn, I'm going fast.
can press piston. Install new pads, but it's gonna take a while first. I'm going to let that dry. Let's compare pads. Yeah. Rear pants, not okay. There's almost nothing on these, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's not cool. Install new pads, 8 minutes, 9 minutes low, install caliper, technically speaking we still haven't installed it so... That's how it's supposed to go, I don't understand. Ten minutes lower, we are awful pace, awful pace. Before I continue, I wanna pump the brakes to see if it's stuck, this caliper, I have a feeling it might be stuck. One hour and the sum you can see it says sum of best my best times in each category I could have done it in 30 minutes I've done it in one hour and we have one more side to go holy shit last side dude hopefully we can do better than this your car up three minutes still looking good but we know how that went last time Oh my, this has stopped existing a while ago. I was low key. God damn, what the fuck? Right, we're going still good, we're still going good. Compressed piston time. There we go, six minutes, this is good, this is good, we're doing good time now. Same deal. There is a tiny bit of pad left here. Comparing it to the outer one, you can see like, technically speaking, I can see why the, the system did not catch it. Because, you know, there is a tiny bit of life left, but here there is nothing, dude. Nothing.
There we go, finally. Forty-seven minutes. And there we go. I think that's it. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do, but in theory, we are done. Damn.